Hey guys, I thought I'd just do a new video on NVIDIA's Pascal architecture. So it's just been reported that there's a couple of cards that have turned up on the Zorba database. Um, a lot of people uh, keep in line with the Zorba database because it's where NVIDIA uh, and AMD have their cards spotted and they can find out the rough pricing of the cards and, um, and where, how far along they are in the process of production. So there's been four cards that have been spotted um, in the last 24 hours. There's a card for $600, $700, $900, and $1,100. We don't know the exact difference between all of them. If I had to make a, an estimated guess, I'm guessing that the most expensive one is gonna be the Titan X successor. Um, and that will make the most sense because the Titan X was $999 when it was released um, this time last year. And then I would say that the $900 card could be a card that's just under that maybe. We might see a Titan X, maybe a Titan X successor based on the Pascal architecture with 32 gig of RAM and then another one with 16 gig of RAM. Keep in mind that this new RAM is HBM2, which is the, the new high bandwidth memory, capable of 1,024 gigabytes per second of, of memory bandwidth compared to the mid 300s that the 980, 980 Ti and uh, Titan X were capable of. And then on top of that, we have the Pascal architecture and the new 16 nanometer process. So the, as for the other two cards at six and seven hundred dollars, they'll most likely be, uh, again, this is just a, a total total kind of guess, um, probably like a 980 and 980 Ti um, in the new Pascal architecture. But even the $600 card, I think that might be more expensive than what it should be if it is a 980 successor but we're not gonna know until NVIDIA's GPU technology conference, which kicks off um, in early April. I'm gonna be there, so you can expect some coverage of the new NVIDIA cards when they're unveiled. So this is a video just to bring you up to speed on the latest developments in the Pascal architecture. So we should hear more at GTC um, in just a couple of weeks time.